Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in, the longest road on earth. Consequently, uh, this is where I got my 1 millionth gamer score, which actually did feel like the longest road on earth to get. Uh, so, anyway, uh, this was, sorry, this was developed by TLR Games and Brainwash Gang, it was published by Raw Fury, and is normally available for £8.39, but... Uh, at the time of this recording, it's actually £2.93, so always keep checking back and forth for a sale, because it's always worth it. So this is, now obviously if you've, um, if you're sort of familiar with Raw Fury's work, with all the animals and stuff, yes, that's because they've done, uh, what's it called now? It's called, um, it was called Backbone, and now it's called Noir, something or other. Uh, but yes, it's um, published by the same guys, but it's a lot different. So basically in this game, there are, there's no dialogue. It's just four short stories, and all we're going to do is go around uh, interacting with things, and all the achievements will basically come with doing that. So it's a very easy game, should only take about an hour and 20, an hour and 25 minutes, and uh, yeah, that's all it is to do. So, with that being said then, la 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 do it! So obviously, what we're going to do is obviously press the A button to start, and like I said, there's nothing that's too difficult, there's nothing difficult, there's nothing anything at all. So we start as old granddad crocodile bro, we're just going to walk to the right, we can't move any faster than this. Uh, now every time you see a square above his head, that means that you can interact with an item. You don't actually have to interact with every item, um, just certain ones in order to go forward. So we move on to the right, interact with the sink, press the A button twice here. And then the credits will roll. There you go, game over, job done. Uh, but no, so just to skip past this bit as quick as you can, just keep mashing the A button and that'll uh, get the credits going as quick as possible. Right, so once this is finally done, now it took me a while, there was a couple of edits because I was expecting it to go on its own and it just didn't, so ah, that went well. Right, so press the A button a couple of times in here to get up as Mouse Lady, and then what we'll do, we'll walk to the left, just past the end of the bed, and then walk to right, uh, walk to the right where we can open up the curtains. Again, the A button, or the cross button on PlayStation, of course. La la, let there be light. Then just continue walking all the way to the left and then interact with the sink. Uh, 
Then once you've done that and you've washed your pretty little mouse face, head all the way to the right and then head all the way downstairs. Now you're probably wondering why there's no music. C -c 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 copyright of course. Now why would I want to be copyrighted? So yeah, that's why it's a silent one. But uh, the music is very nice actually and you will enjoy it. Anyway, head downstairs and when you get downstairs, head to the left into kitchen. Yeah, I just wanted to look at flowers because flowers is pretty. Uh, so we interact with this first item here, the uh, kettle. We're going to go to the left now, pop that on the old hobnob. Or the stove, whatever you call it, wherever you uh, people come from. Head to the right, grab the little uh, black thing right there. The little black thing is coffee, nothing else. And then just go ahead, interact that with the kettle. And then you've got to wait until you start seeing some smoky steam steam coming out of it. So yes, it may take uh, some time, but once it's done, press the A button a couple of times and we'll move on to this part where we are now going to be working in a diner. So head left to the door. Hi guys, can I get you any coffee or anything? No thanks, huh? Just give me some pie. That's, that's just every American movie ever, isn't it? Uh, so anyway, interact with the jukebox first, and then go ahead and get your pear. Not a cream pear. So head left, and when you get to your boss, he's going to point to the right, so then we'll need to go... <laughs> it's basically a lot of right and left, so he goes... Rrr, over there. And that's what he looks like anyway, so you go all the way to the right, Press the A button a couple of times on the customer, go left to grab his food, and then bring it back to him. So head left again, and your boss is going to be like, uh, another one, get. And then we've got to go right to the next customer and do the same sort of thing, and then we will get to the next area. Plus, we'll get an achievement here for working at the dinner, working at the diner. Right, so this is just a little scene here. We're going to... Again, it's probably worth just keep smashing the A button because um, we're going to do this a couple of times. We're just going to smoke a f cigarette. Uh, can't say the F word for cigarettes anymore. No, no, that's not allowed. And she's going to drink some coffee. So any scene that you get in, if you're not walking, just smash the A button. Lazy git, why didn't you just hand it to me? What did you put? I was right there. Anyway, uh, what I am trying to do is actually, you need to walk to the right quite a bit and then walk to the left in order to get down the steps. Yeah, there we go, finally. So then interact with the letterbox, get out a letter and be like, oh my God, somebody's pie.
Again, just keep mashing the A button anytime you see any scenes like this. Matchity mash mash potatoes. Right, let's get on the swing. Ready, steady. Whee! Oh, that's pretty slow, actually. I thought she was going to do like a floop de loop and stuff. And then crack her ankles as she drops down. So for this little bicycle section, just keep spamming the A button and she'll go so fast that not even, uh, you know, Sonic can keep up. I'm on top of the world! Where Leonardo DiCaprio says that when he's literally pretty much at the bottom of the world. Uh, anyway, we are in the shower now. We're going to, again, just keep spamming the E button in order to get through these next few scenes. Take your dinner to the left and have a little schnit down. And from eating absolutely nothing, we end up on the beach for some reason. So, uh, yep, just go ahead and collect these three shells. And it's going to be like, whoosh, in your ear, you know. You can smell the ocean. Hmm. I need a wash. And from the beach, we now have to hang out some washing. So, again... Uh, interact with the washing basket. You need to put three items out. Man, this is a uh, good mundane lifestyle. <laughs> Ah, finally. So after that day, we're going to head all the way back upstairs and then we're going to interact with the string at the top a couple of times in order to get up the attic. Hey, Bob, want to see my head chainsaw and hockey mask? So I interact with the typewriter here in the middle of the room and we got a problem, we've got no ink. So she's typing nothing. It must be a uh, senile day or something, potentially. Anyway, she types out no letter, so we'll just head to the left and we'll interact with this item, yeah. And again, keep spamming the A button once more and then we're basically gonna leave. Now, at the end of every chapter, they, there's these little scenes which literally take about three or four minutes. You can't do anything, you don't do anything. So for this one, for little uh, Mouseketeer here, she's just going to sit on the train. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for a couple of minutes. So I've edited it down slightly, a little bit shortly. Um, but yeah, so once we end this train ride anyway, that's the first chapter complete. 
Once you get here, as I said, you're going to do nothing until the chapter ends. Sorry, of course you could do something. You, you could have looked at the lamp. Right, so as old man crocodile dude, um, turn the sign here so we can get it closed. And then we're going to head to the right. And then simply go ahead and interact with the piano. I said piano, not piano. So now we are what looks like a kangaroo or something. So eventually, after a, a 30 seconds or so, we can finally get the interact button to stand up. And then we will be able to get out. Now, uh, there's going to be long walks in this one, <laughs> just in case you haven't already been able to tell. It's Coronation Street, Tam. Coronation Street, you know, UK soap. The US wouldn't get it, but I'm sure you have just, just as many terrible soaps in America land that we do have here in Britain land. So anyway, this part, all we're going to be doing is walking to the left. So get the left stick, left thumb busy.
Now, I'm not sure if you actually needed to have a look at the newspaper there, but I did just in case. And then when we get all the way to the left, we're going to have to interact with the traffic light and then wait there for another 30 seconds or so. Man, so we're actually going to work, but it doesn't even seem worth it, the amount of walking and catching buses and trains we're doing. So just head to the left, uh, you can go ahead and interact with Broski, Broski the dog ski right here, if you wanted to, uh, I don't think there's any need, and then interact with big pelican pigeon head bird thing behind there. So go ahead, interact with the piano, and that will end the scene, plus we'll get an achievement for it as well, for playing piano. It's bright, it's shining, it gets in your eyes, it's the sun, which we don't know about, because we're British. Right, so you walk left there, and then you have to walk right up to the elevator, and then left to get to your apartment. Bruh, we just got home from work, but she's like, play the piano, Dad! Fine! So what we need to do then is, obviously, with the squares, we're going to press the A button a couple of times, and then when it's a triangle on the left, hold the Y button. So you need to hold the action button, whichever one it is, and that'll get to this scene. Because if you don't hold it, it'll just keep repeating that part. So, uh, this part's going to take a little while as well. You literally, there's all these guys that get checked to go in, so you've just got to keep going left when prompted, and then you can finally start your shift at Rusty Kohler.
Jeez, that, that uh, takes just as long as his shift. Right, so interact with your locker, have a little look inside, and then just head all the way to the left and then press the lever button in order to start your menial crappy days as a machinist in the Coke factory. Not even the good Coke factory either. Yes, it is. And all we got to do when the uh, interaction button prompts, you just press the A button, chuck a couple of uh, tops on, job done. Easiest job in the world. Ah, nice, nice. Right, so let's head to the left when we get here, and we're just effectively going to nip to bed and see how much cash that wallet was bulging just then. So head to the right, and then we're going to interact with the door, and then head all the way down. Oh, after we get our cigarettes, of course. Not the, f not the fan. No, still can't call them it. We'll be banned. And then again, when we get to the bottom of the stairs, we're going to head to the left and outside, and then we're going to walk a lot left again.
And then finally, we'll just wait here. The train will come, and then this is going to be the end of chapter two. Again, this one takes even longer than the first one. I think it was about four minutes that we're just waiting for <laughs> this chapter to end. So, you know, have a little relaxo rancho. By the way, if you're feeling a little bored or anything, uh, pop some music on or, you know, chuck a, chuck a film on while you're playing. It's very, very easy, so you shouldn't miss a thing. But yes, this next part's going to take quite a few minutes. And we finally get there. So, welcome back to the Earth. Right, nothing we can do um, for a minute. We just got to wait for this customer to grab his thing. So, we're just going to go. Etc., etc. Right, so once he pops the phone down, interact with it, and then we're going to be doing a little driving section where all you've got to do is hold the A button to go supersonic speed fast and uh, put a bunch of holes in your car with a pickaxe. Get, get them speed holes going. Hi guys, welcome to the docks. Alright, so as Mr. Bayman, Ollie Bayman, we will just head up into the office and then we'll, uh, when we get into the office, take a left until we get to our desk. Now, this looks very crude and rude, but I promise we're just working out. So, when we get to the bottom here, just press the A button. Uh, 
And then when the scene changes, uh, keep pressing the... I, I was pressing the Y button, but I don't I doesn't, don't think it matters. Uh, so just hold on to the Y button a couple of times until he gets up, and we'll get another achievement for it. Getting them shredded abs of steel! And again, it's obviously just a walking situation here. So up the steps we go. Land ho! Excuse me, that's offensive towards hoes. Uh, right, so your big bucktooth bro right there. Uh, I assume he's the boss. Um, so what we're going to do, we are going to stand up in just a minute. And then once we've done this, we're going to head over to the left, grab a little bit of water and have a little conversation with our colleagues. Now, what I don't get is, in a lot of workplaces, you get all the good banter and stuff. And then in some workplaces, you get the one that's like... Oh, did you see the Express and the Guardian? It was just telling us that... Blah, blah, blah. Crappy, boring conversation. Nobody cares about boring stuff. Break over, get your ass back to work, she says with a wry bird in her eye. Right, so now we're going to have to uh, pick up some puke. Your little brat's puke. So, uh, there you go, interact with the mop there. And then what we're going to do is head down the steps here to the right. 
There's going to be three mud marks or puke marks, whichever one you want. Just past old hippie haircut dude right here. There you go. Just press the A button when you get close to him. And then when you've done those three, we're going to need to head to the left very slowly. And then when we get up the stairs, there's going to be another three puke marks just past the mop bucket. Those parts must be disgusting though. He didn't even uh, put, he didn't even rinse his mop off. Anyway, go back to the mop bucket, press the A couple of, couple of times here, the A button a couple of times. That's another achievement. We'll head through the double doors and then off to the right where we can now pick some lunch. Doesn't matter what you pick. Um, you can just, you can pick one item and then head all the way to the right or pick loads of items. Either way, after you're done, head all the way to the right and take a seat. Same with old Bear McMillan right here. What we're going to do, head to the right, take another little sit down. And then you're going to get a split screen situation where yeah, both you're going to... Effectively, all you're doing here is keep mashing the A button. Bear will take a smoke. Duck will take some food. Just keep pressing the A button until Duck Bag has finished his grub skis. There we go. Once he's done, head to the right and then interact with the trays to put your tray on. Or, you know, the big trays to put your small tray on, whatever it is. Head to the right and then interact with one of the phones. And then we're going to have to do the same with the old bear necessities. He's going to stand up and then we'll go to the left in order to get outside and use the phone. Oof, what was that conversation about? Keep your bare paws off my girl. Right, so head down. Obviously the right-hand side set of steps since there's nowhere else to go. And then we are going to fix the jammed machine. It's very easy. Literally all you got to do is press the A button once on each valve. And then head back to the left and outside again.
And of course, by outside, I mean right at the top here where we're going to interact with these binoculars and have a look at the bird of life. Okay, whatever just happened, now we're outside of the bear. So, obviously, we're going to bear necessity down the steps. And then just continue heading to the right this time. And once he's in the middle, as duck bags, we're going to head down to the left and speak with the bear. There we go, Broski's checked in, or checked out. I, I thought we'd already checked in. Yeah, anyway, so as duckbags, we're going to head all the way to the left now until we get to the bus stop to end this chapter. Luckily, this scene isn't nearly as bad as the previous one from Chapter 2, so 
That'll end chapter three. And then what we're going to do as old Crocodile Bilski, we're going to head to the right and then we're going to head to the left where a customer appears out of nowhere. Thank you very much. Take my money, probably like three dollars or something. So we're going to head to the right until we see the interaction button where we're going to put this crystal ball on the desk next to the phone and the typewriter. So now we play as little kid. So we are going to hold the Hold the interaction button or press it twice in order to get out of your cot and then just go all the way to the left until your old mother is like, Hey! Get back in there! And then when she pops you down, you're going to hold the Y button in order to stand up. And again, head all the way to the left until she catches you. Uh, it, you do look like you're dancing on ice mines, so just... <laughs> well, there's no point being away, you can't actually fall. you just got to head all the way to the left until Mommy catches you and chucks you back in. But there's going to be a random tent that's come from nowhere. So for this part then, you don't actually, I think this is just a timed bit anyway, so it's going to take, you know, another two minutes or so. Uh, but what you got to do is just keep spamming the A button and keep pointing to the right, and then that will sort of get rid of the toy enemy. Um, again, I do think this is a timed section, so it doesn't matter if you get all the way to the end or not. Uh, eventually, the scene will just fade to black, and the achievement for playing with your toys will uh, appear. And no, my OnlyFans friends, I did not mean those toys. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry.
So once that's done, now we're going to annoy our mother. So head to the left and then we're going to interact with the light switch. So press the A button here, just keeps flicking it on and off. And then your mama's going to be all like, you're trying my last nerve. Get to time out, please. Don't know. Uh, there must be a mother that sounds like so that somewhere. Please get to time out. Anyway, what you're going to do now is head all the way to the left, go in through the left-hand door and scare old mama bags. We got sent a timeout because she pooped her pants, literally. That's all it was. So anyway, climb up onto the chair. And then once again, you're going to climb up. And you're going to start getting some cookies. And your ma's going to be like, Ugh, you son of a god damn it. And then we get sent to the old T.O. again. And then interact with the lamp to smash it. And then she's going to be like, Ugh, dude. So, has anyone broken their arm? Me neither, but this is what we gotta do. Just keep it pressing with the interaction button and then eventually Daredevil Broski's gonna fall off, break his arm, and that's the achievement for breaking your arm. Breaking your arm. B -b break your arm till you break your arm. Right, so head of the right here, we're gonna do a little drawing. Now, I thought we could have done our own drawing, so, but it's actually in game. So if you're looking at, if you're looking at this now and going, uh, you know what you're gonna draw? It wasn't actually me this time, okay? But um, it's it's a shame that uh, the game didn't actually do what I was thinking. That's one unhappy reindeer ghost thing. Right, head all the way to the right, give it to your teacher who's going to be like, Ah, oh, dude. So another nice easy bit, I mean obviously the whole game is easy, but uh, just another one. So what we're going to do, we're going to head, uh, obviously just continue heading to the right. As soon as there's an interaction button, we go. apart from that one, we are going to um, obviously press it purely because we're going to head all the way up to the right and then we're going to start running over some obstacles. So once you picked up the stick, you're going to press A to smash the snowman's head in, and then you're automatically going to start running to the right, and you'll just need to press the A button, of course, in order to jump over the little obstacles, like this one, which I failed to see. Blip.
And of course, another achievement unlocks there for playing in the snow. Right, since we're back home, let's warm up. We'll go and turn the television on. And then we... Oh, President Dog. So just keep switching the channels until we see. Uh, we're basically going to the shopping center or the mall. And the way you can tell that you're at the mall is where there's a whole bunch of shadowy figures uh, walking back and forth. Right, so what we've got to do for this bit then is uh, go to the right. You can see your mother there just uh, chilling out. When the interaction button prompts, just go ahead and press the um, the Y button or triangle button or even the inter or whatever interaction button. You're going to keep pressing this for a while and just continue heading to the right. Hooray! We found Moami. Uh, yet for another achievement. So, for finding men. The MOM of life. Right, so it doesn't matter what you do here. I'm just clicking the buttons for a good laugh. But eventually, we're going to get to the next scene where we're with old Grandpapa. Now, you can. Uh, so, we just got to go all the way to the left until we're at the top of the hill, but you can't stray too far in front of your old Grandpapa. So you're going to need to just wait. Uh, obviously, it does take a little bit longer, but it's all cool. It's cute.
And so that's actually pretty much the last of it now. So uh, all we've got to do now then is in these next couple of scenes, we've literally just got to, if you follow the guy, obviously if you follow the video, it's very easy. We would just have to do a couple of things. So we go to one spot, we uh, press the interaction button, go to another spot, press the interaction button, and it's just going to keep doing that until the real credits roll and the chapter four achievement will unlock, thus unlocking all 20 achievements or trophies. So this is it then, guys, gals, right after the credits, the achievement will unlock. So I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out, as always, to all my Patreon members, my YouTube members, and everyone who interacts with me on the daily. And thank you to everyone who did congratulate me on the 1 million gamer score. That was cool. So it's a 1 million game of score special and it's about to come to an end. So again, thank you so much for watching guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.